Hey everybody, uh, I hope you're doing okay and I wanted to make a video just to check in with you and show my face and that I'm alive and well and uh, I've got a lot of cabin fever, working on a lot of art and figuring out uh, how to deliver content to you without any equipment or supplies. <laughs> um, so that's been a challenge, but um, I more than anything hope that you're okay mentally and emotionally. And I know this is a tough time. And so it's really hard for me to feel like um, I can just expect you to do a ton of coursework, especially if you're feeling really stressed or um, you know, things aren't stable or good at home because I don't know, you know, everyone's home situation is different. Um, so I uh, wanted to combine something that I think would help everyone with um, learning our course content. And so what's going to happen is I am going to um, deliver one lesson a week to you um, and... I will respond. I'll have office hours from one to two on the Zoom link that I sent out to everyone. Um, that should work. I should test it <laughs> one more time to make sure it works. Um, and so that if you need to like talk to me face to face or whatever, um, you can do that. Um, but it's going to be with, you know, anyone can hop on that link. Um, so it might be 10 of us, it might be 20 of us, um, but if you want to do one-on-one -on -one conversation, I can do an email. Um, you should have my email access, or access to my email, sorry. Um, so that's how it's going to work for now. Things might change um, because, you know, we don't know day-to-day -day how this situation is panning out and when we're going to be able to come back to school if we do it all. Um we're thinking that if we don't come back to school, then the work that you do will go towards credit um, for graduation. So um, we're working through that and we're working through what does that mean, especially for art classes and photography and um, video editing. Those kinds of things are a little bit more difficult. Um, because I can't get you a camera or I can't get you a computer that has the software on it. So what is that going to look like? I don't know yet. Um, so in the meantime, we're just going to use what we have. Um, and I'm trying to put together things that will still give you skills that aren't lame. <laughs> uh, and that will allow you to learn the content um, at a college level. Now, because you don't have access to the software, to the um, computers, to the cameras, to the stuff that we normally use in class, we're not offering college credit for these courses as of now. Um, I don't think that's going to change, but I still have to um, provide that level of academic rigor as much as I can. So things are in flux. So next week, um, I'm going to be giving each of my classes um, uh, an activity that we're going to be doing um, that you can do typically from home using either your cell phone for my photography and video editing classes um, or utilizing whatever art um, materials you have. Um, so hopefully you all have pencil and paper still. Um, it would be great if you had colored pencils or some kind of, um, you know, markers, crayons, I don't care what it is, but um, paint. Uh, anything that allows you to incorporate coloring of some kind because I'm still going to go through the design process with you, um, the art process, and that is one of the most fundamental things that if you have a good grasp on that, then you are a good photographer or designer or video editor. Um, so we're really going to spend a lot of time on those um, basic things that make you a good artist or designer. 
Um, my computer almost fell asleep on me. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, that's why I sent out a survey to see, um, at least in my graphic design classes, what art supplies you have at home. Um, because I'm working with our admin team to pull art supplies together to get to you um, in case you don't have anything at home because, you know, not every family has art, art supplies at home because it's not necessarily like, you know, if your parents or guardians aren't artists, why would they? Um, so I don't expect everyone to have art supplies. Um, so please let me know if you need anything because I um, will facilitate that pro that um, to get that to you. Um, so just a little preview of what um, we're going to be doing next week. I am going to have all of my classes start with um, something called the morning pages and you can google Julia Cameron her book it's called The Artist's Way and it's been around for like, I don't know, 30 years, longer than that, but truly transformational. Like whenever I have art blocks or whenever I have, um, I'm just not able to create any good artwork or any good anything. Um, I will go through this process that helps you unblock. Um, but the reason why I want you to do this is because um, it helps with processing your emotions and any um, fears or issues that you have, which I think is perfect for this. It's a great combination of getting rid of art blocks, learning how to do that, and also taking care of your mental health. And I do it every morning. So I'll get up at like five in the morning. I know that's so early. I don't do it right now because I get to sleep in, um, but I will get up super early and I will write, it's three pages in your journal, whatever size your journal is. It could be like front and back on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I know that sounds really lame, but hear me out. Um, I do this because when you feel emotions, you feel lots of complex emotions and they're all over the place, kind of bouncing around in your head and it doesn't allow you to concentrate, right? So, um... I I do this as a way to like kind of clear my head, get what I'm feeling or thinking out onto paper, and it helps me um, to not have that those thoughts and feelings blocking me um, to be able to create and just do what I need to do during the day. And that kind of sounds woo woo, but try it. And um, I think that you will get a lot out of that. So that is an assignment for next week um, for everyone. Um, and I'm going to combine that in my graphic design class with um, sketching. So at the end of your three pages, or, um, or I'll have you do two, it's better to do three, but at the end of that, you're going to write a um, gratitude list every day for things that you're grateful for. So for me, I am grateful for um, the, the flowers that are blooming outside my window in my garden. I'm grateful for the fact that I still have coffee and I didn't run out. <laughs> um, I'm grateful for um, little things like the sound of my dog's pause on the wood floor or um you know for some of you it might be that you're grateful that you're able to sleep in every morning but I want you to think of like 10 things that just give you a little bit of happiness every day and you need to write them down um for the people who are in my graphic design class I want you to draw a visual representation of that so for me I would draw a flower out in the in my flower bed. I would also draw a paw print for my dogs. Um, I would draw a coffee mug for my coffee. Um, and, you know, underneath it, why or what it is or why are you grateful for that, that thing or those things. Um, so that's what next week is going to look like. Um, I do want you to try and do this every day. Um, 
I know that's asking a lot, um, but I, I want you to do it because I know it will help with your mental health. Um, I mean, I can't say I know that for sure because I'm not a therapist or a counselor, but I know it helps me. And what's most important to me is that you all are okay. Um, and I want to share things that will help. Um, with that and incorporate it into the class itself. So um, that's the big thing that we're going to be doing next week. You do not have to um, share what you wrote on your um, morning pages or your journal. Um, all I need is for you to take a quick photo of maybe just your gratitude list or of, you know, your paper from far away and I don't have to see any of the writing, and that's what you're going to turn in for the assignment. Um, if you want to get started on the other assignments, you absolutely can. Um, we're going to be having a, um, like, kind of like a sketchbook, where if you don't have a sketchbook, you can just use pieces of paper, um, and we're going to be doing um, kind of like sketchbook graphic design projects and challenges, kind of like our ideation challenge um, for my photography class. We're going to be doing something a little bit different um, with your camera on your phone if you don't have a phone because I know Miss Lex told me that one of her students didn't even have a phone um, which is you know sometimes we just don't uh, and that's totally fine. Um, then I will find something different for you to do. Um, for my video editing class, there are some video editing apps that I'm going to have you download and you're going to use your phone to record um, and we're going to try something out there. Um, so there are a few things that are coming next week and um, I want to make it fun and I want to hopefully um, help you learn new skills along the way. But um, yeah, my biggest concern is that you're all okay, and if you need to chat or anything, you can email me. Um, but other than that, I want you to enjoy whatever time you can outside and take care of yourselves and your families, first and foremost. And I have a lot of faith that we're going to get through this, and at the end of it, it'll be a great story. Uh, and <laughs> you will <laughs> know what it's like to be stuck inside and then appreciate your freedom. <laughs> At least I know I will. So uh, anyway, that is all I have to say. And I hope you have a wonderful few days before school starts next week. Okay, bye.